Hi everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to fight Trinity Avowed in Delubrum Regine Savage. Trinity Avowed is the third main boss of the instance and can be quite a challenge, but that being said she's a really fun fight so let's get started. Before you begin the fight, make sure that you have at least one tank with Aether Shield and at least seven charges of it slotted. This is a 30% damage mitigation for your entire party and is almost necessary to survive the raid-wide AoEs. This is how our group set up markers in the arena, and I'll explain why later on. The first thing that happens after you pull is a shared tank buster called Wrath of Bosja. This will be a huge hit shared by three tanks. After the hit goes out, heal your tanks and get ready for Glory of Bosja. This is the raid-wide AoE. It does massive damage and applies a bleed. This must be Aether Shielded at all costs. It is survivable without, but just barely. Next up, Avowed will cast a Legion Arsenal. These attacks share the same animations as a Realm Reborn Shiva, and additionally there are text cues to let you know what weapon is being used. Zevin's voice is a staff mechanic. The boss will twirl around at the location and do a point blank AoE that's bigger than the hitbox. Everybody needs to be away from the boss at this point. Stanik's voice is a sword mechanic. Wherever the boss is standing, they'll pull out a sword and shield, then do a 270 degree conal attack behind them. Everyone must stack in front of the boss. Isolde's voice is a bow mechanic. The boss will go to the middle and face true north. Everyone must stack behind the boss to avoid a 270 degree conal attack. These mechanics will happen one after the other at the start, and the order of these determines the order of hot and cold mechanics later in the fight. So the last weapon the boss used will be the first hot and cold, and then the first weapon, and then finally the second weapon will be the last mechanic. It goes in the order of 3, 1, 2. It's hot and cold time, and this is where the fight really begins. This will happen six times in the fight. In the first cycle, you'll get a temperature indicator, same as in normal mode, and you need to get your temperature to zero or neutral. The second time around, you're going to be affected by an elemental brand. This is a debuff that changes your temperature by its indicated value once the timer runs out. So in order to solve for this, the best way to think about it is you need to be at the opposite temperature of your debuff. If the boss gives you one hot, you need to make sure that you set yourself to one cold so that when the debuff runs out, it neutralizes your temperature. I'm going to explain each mechanic on its own and leave a timestamp so you can easily find the mechanic that you need to learn. The first time you see this mechanic, the boss will cast a Legion Arsenal that you need to get away from. After the Hot and Cold cast, you'll also get a Quick March debuff. When this debuff expires, your character will automatically move in the direction indicated by the arrow. Freedom of Bosja causes four proximity AoEs to appear at the Inner Cardinals. Everyone stack in the middle and make sure your party is healed up after the hit. You only have a few seconds to find your correct orb and position your character so the quick march walks you into the AoE. Heal everybody up and Aether Shield the incoming glory of Bosja. It's really important to know that this mechanic has no safe spaces. If you raise somebody or are raised during this mechanic, they will be forced to take a temperature and be unable to neutralize. And then they will die. Again. The second time you see the orbs, it's much like the first. Get away from a legion arsenal and then stack back up in the middle. This time you're going to get an elemental brand, so make sure to take the orb that'll get you to the opposite of your debuff. This time, the boss will cast Unseen Eye, which creates clones along two of the edges that cleave down the row and column that they're in. There's no quick march here, so you can walk straight into your orb, but take note of where the clones are along the edge. Only one square within your orb will be safe. Mitigate and heal up for the glory of Bosra Raidwide. The first time you see this mechanic, the boss will cast an Allegiant Arsenal that you need to stack behind for. Next, you'll get a Quick March debuff. Make note of what direction you'll be forced to move in. And after that, the tanks are targeted for a buster. Make sure three tanks are in front of the boss to share this damage. Flames of Bosja creates a well of flame on either the west or east side of the arena. Align your character so your quick march takes you away from the well of flame. Next stop is hot and cold that must be neutralized. After a few seconds, a ladder game will appear in the flames. You need to identify which arrow you have to take and follow the ladder down. Remember, if the arrow can turn, it will turn. 
stand in the correct square that your arrow is hitting, then heal up and mitigate for Glory of Bosja. The second time you see the bow, it's a lot trickier. Stack behind for a Legion Arsenal and look out for Unseen Eye. Avoid these adds cleaves, and then look for where the flames of Bosja spawn. If you're in a safe spot close to the flame, you must pop sprint and run to the opposite end of the arena. The next hot and cold also comes with an elemental brand. Figure out what arrow you need to take in order to become the opposite temperature of your debuff. And to make things worse, you will now also get a quick march debuff, and will be forced to move into your arrow. Note that quick march will always move you exactly two squares in whatever direction it tells. Do not sprint. After that, the boss will do a tank buster, so make sure to send your tanks in front and everyone else stand behind. This mechanic is pretty cruel, so the more prepared you are before it resolves, the better. Try to solve what you need to take, and then what direction to go into it. In this clip, I was just repeating in my head constantly, right into one ice, right into one ice, right into one ice. And then I just traced the path and set myself up. The first time you see the sword, stack in front for a Legion Arsenal. This is where those markers we placed now will come in handy. The boss will move to the space between 2 and 3 every time and spawn 3 clones in between each of the other markers. These clones will never spawn anywhere else. Each clone will cleave one entire side of the arena, leaving only one safe square. To solve this, you'll need to stand in a square that's being hit only by the clone that you need a temperature from, or stand in the safe square. And the safe square will always be on one of the number markers. If you're diagonal from the safe square, you will die. After they cleave once, they all turn around and do a second cleave. Here I have a visual representation of what the cleaves could look like. Keep in mind, this will not always be the permutation that you get, they'll not always cleave the same directions as this image, and aside from calling out the safe square, it's entirely up to you to figure out where you need to stand. So I'm going to teach you a really easy way to solve this. With this method, all you need to know is where your clone is, and haul ass and get over to it. Face your camera so that your clone is at the bottom of your screen closest to you. Stand behind your clone, and look at the direction it's cleaving. If it's cleaving the left or the right side, move into the row that it's hitting, and then move forward two squares. If your clone is cleaving the bottom of the screen, stay behind it. Check what side the clone across from you is hitting, and then be in the square that it's not hitting. In both of these scenarios, the safe square should be directly next to wherever you're standing. Once you do this twice, heal up and mitigate for Glory of Bosja. The good news is, the second time you see the sword is almost completely identical to the first time, except you'll have to solve for your elemental brand. Other than that, nothing changes, but beware that you might have to take two hits from the cleaves in order to get to the opposite of your debuff. Heal and mitigate for Glory of Bosja. After the final hot and cold resolves, you have about 15 seconds to DPS the boss down before enrage. Make sure to pop your potions, and healers limit break 3 to raise your dead. And that's everything you need to know about Trinity Avowed. I really hope that this explanation with visuals helped some of you, and you'll soon be well on your way to fighting the queen herself. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.